In this tutorial, I am working with a silk fabric. And you want to first get your fabric for your kimono base. Um, pretty much not the fabric trim, but the kimono base. And you want to place your fabric on fold and lay your, um, lay your front and back pattern on top. Make sure your back pattern is um, lined up to the fold of the fabric and your front pattern is beside it. So that'll be an easy way to go ahead and cut it. Place your fabric on fold um, and place your back pattern on the fold of the fabric and your front pattern beside it. And now you see me cutting out the sleeve of the pattern and I'm placing the center of the sleeve along the fold of the fabric. I just folded the fabric in half and then I'm cutting along the pattern. And make sure you cut out two sleeves for this um, kimono. So place the center of the sleeve on the pat, the center of the pattern along the fold of the um, fabric and just cut around the pattern and cut two pieces. Now I'm laying my back pattern piece flat with the right side facing up and then I'm going to lay my two front pieces and line them up along the shoulders, the arm, the arm hurt curve and the side and I'm going to sew along the shoulder, the armhole curve and the side. I'm going to leave the armhole opening open. I'm not going to sew along that. So I'm going to do that on both sides. And now for the sleeve, I'm just folding that sleeve um, in half and then I'm sewing along that raw edge of the opposite of the fold. So it will still be two open sides. And you want to do this for both sleeves. Make sure you do that. And now what I'm doing is I'm getting my sleeve from my kimono and I'm turning my actual sleeve attachment inside out. And then I'm lining the raw edge up to, and I'm, I'm placing the sleeve inside. The kimono portion of the sleeve is going inside of that um, sleeve attachment that was turned inside out and I'm sewing along the raw edge of the sleeves to attach that sleeve to the kimono base. So remember the kimono base is um, right side out while the sleeve is inside out and you place the kimono um, base inside of that inside out sleeve and then sew along that outer edge and you want to do this for both sides. Now I'm cutting out the trim. So um, right now you see me taking my trim pattern for the sleeve and I'm cutting that out. And then for this particular, you don't have to do this, but um, right now I'm cutting off about a quarter of an inch of the pattern after I cut it off, after I cut out the fabric, and then I'm gonna use that to cut out interfacing um, to iron on to the, the trim of the fabric because the trim that I'm, the fabric that I'm using for the trim is very, very thin. So I want it to be a little stiffer because of the type of fabric that I'm using for the actual kimono base or whatever. So I wanted it to have a little more structure on the, trim of the um, kimono so I'm adding some interfacing which is some regular so um, I believe this is iron on I'm, I'm adding iron on interfacing to the um, trim of the fabric so I open my fabric right side down placing my interfacing on one side and folding the fabric of the other side on top of the interfacing and then I'm ironing over that so that's all I'm doing is I place my fabric right side facing down 
don't be like me on the video where you see me not using any type of fabric or something to protect my fabric while I'm ironing directly on it. Don't iron directly on the fabric. I took my trim pieces and then I folded my sleeve trim pieces in half and sewn the raw edge and I did that to both sleeves and then I sewn my two neckline trim pieces together by put placing two raw edges together making sure that my the fold of the fabric were aligned with each other and now I am putting my sleeve trim with the raw um, with the raw edge facing up and I'm lining up I'll turn the sleeve trim inside out while the regular sleeve or the kimono base is right side out and I'm placing just like I did with the sleeve I'm placing that sleeve inside of the trim and I'm lining up the raw edges so that I can sew along the raw edges and make sure that you line up the two seams of the sleeve and of the um, trim to make sure that you're sewing in the right order so to make sure the 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 seams line up as well and now for my neckline trim I'm taking that seam and I'm placing it in the center of my kimono neckline and to find my center all I did was I um, put, put the two shoulder pieces the two shoulder seams on both the left and the right of the kimono and I placed them together and then I um, pretty much cut the seam in the cut like a little nip in the center and then I align my um, seam of the neckline to that center nip of the kimono and then I sewed along the raw edge by placing my kimono base right side up and then placing my trim on top of it making sure that the raw edges are aligned and then I sewed along the raw edge After doing that you want to go ahead and hem the bottom of your kimono and then once you do that you're complete you're done with your kimono